Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Public Cloud Design Tips and Tricks. In this channel, we are going to discuss about public cloud design program statement and their related solution. In this channel, we are going to discuss about Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud. Today's problem statement, how to assist customers running and managing on-premise workloads or multi-cloud workloads from your public cloud environment that is a single pane of glass managed solution for multi-cloud or hybrid cloud. We will be discuss about what is single pane of glass managed solution in detail in the later slide. But let's try to understand this requirement in detail first. So let you, in your organization you have you are following multi cloud or hybrid cloud strategy. In that case you have to manage or you have to govern or you have to deploy your related infrastructure for uh, your public cloud uh, environment separately and your on-premise environment separately or your multi-cloud environment separately. How can you achieve all these three capabilities for all these three different environments like on-premise or multi-cloud or your own cloud or your edge in a single pane of mode like with a single window you can achieve that. That is the base requirement. To achieve this Microsoft has provided Azure Arc, AWS has provided AWS Outpost and Google Cloud has provided Google Cloud Anthos. So let's try to understand. In this diagram, as you can see, cloud resources in Azure are managed and governed through Azure Resource Manager. And ARM is a service layer for Azure that acts as a control plane that provides developers and operational personnel with deployment, management and, govern, uh, and governance capabilities through the Azure portal or Azure cloud cell or Azure policy along with role-based uh, access control. So with these capabilities, with Azure ARM control plane, you can achieve deployment, management and governance capabilities for your Azure resources. What if, if you have your multi-cloud environment, like in your multi-cloud environment, you have different cloud vendors, right? If you have your on-premise environment, then you have your on-premise infrastructure. How can you achieve that with a single pane of glass, with a single window? How can you maintain all these three capabilities for all these three different environments? To achieve this, Microsoft has provided this solution, Azure Control Plan, uh, Azure Arc. With Azure Arc, it extends the ARM service layer to resources that live outside your Azure in an on-premise data center or the public clouds or at the edge. That means it will extend the ARM capabilities outside your Azure area. That is your multi-cloud environment, that could be AWS or your on-premise system. That's how it extends the ARM capabilities and with this, by doing this, by extending the ARM service layer and control plane to any resources anywhere, an entire IT state can be governed and managed through a single pane of uh, glass using Azure tools. This is where the Azure Arc is helpful. Now, let's try to understand what is the definition of Azure Arc. So, Azure Arc is a software solution that enables you to project your on-premise and multi-cloud resources such as virtual or physical servers and Kubernetes cluster or database into Azure Resource Manager via the ARM. With Azure Arc's hybrid and multi-cloud solution, you manage your resources as if they are running in the Azure using a single pane of glass to manage your entire data state. So with Azure Arc, you can manage your multi-cloud, on-premise and edge. Azure Arc offers simplified management faster app development and also consistent Azure services. It also easily organize, govern and secure Windows, Linux, SQL Server or Kubernetes cluster across data center, the edge and also the multi-cloud environment. With Azure Arc, you can design and build cloud native apps anywhere without sacrificing central visibility or control. With Azure Arc, you will get the central visibility or control. That is the power of Azure Arc. Now, Let's try to understand the benefits of Azure Arc. So, what are all benefits? So, it helps you to manage your entire environment with a single pane of glass, whatever we understood now, by projecting your existing non-Azure on-premise or other cloud resources into Azure Resource Manager. And it also helps you to manage your virtual machine, Kubernetes cluster and database as if they are running in your Azure environment. Although they are outside Azure environment, but with Azure Arc, it will behave like they are running in your Azure environment. It also uses familiar Azure services and management capabilities regardless where they are currently living. Now, 
what is a azure arc enable servers as you and as we understood azure arc has three more uh, powerful capabilities one is servers second is kubernetes cluster and third is database so let's try to deep dive into it what is azure arc enable servers azure arc enable servers enables you to manage your windows and linux physical server and virtual machine hosted outside your azure on your corporate network or other cloud providers so let you have few virtual machine in your azure environment few virtual machine your on premise and few virtual machines in aws then with azure arc you can govern or you can monitor or you can deploy the resources from your uh, one environment that is your azure environment so this management experience is designed to be consistent with how you manage native azure virtual machine so the the same capabilities the the way you are managing your azure native virtual machine the same way also you will manage your on premise virtual machine as well as the aws virtual machine when a hybrid machine is connected to azure it becomes a connected machine and it is treated as a azure resource as a resource in azure each connected machine generally after the connection via the azure arc it will provide you a resource id which enable the machine to be included in your azure resource group so i will show you how does it look inside a single resource group you will find your on premise machine you will find your native machine and also you will find your aws machine now what is azure arc enabled kubernetes with azure arc enabled kubernetes you can attach and configure kubernetes cluster located either inside or outside your azure so if you have a kubernetes cluster which is running in azure you have another kubernetes cluster which is running in your on premise system so with azure arc you can jointly you can uh, you can monitor you can govern or you can deploy this capabilities of native capabilities of azure kubernetes in to your on premise machine as well from the azure arc enable server when you connect a kubernetes cluster to azure arc it will appear in the azure portal with azure resource manager id and a managed identity it will be placed in azure subscription and resource group receive tags just like any other azure resources so once you enable the azure arc to your on premise machine these are all capabilities that you will get so to connect the kubernetes cluster to azure the cluster administrator needs to deploy agents and these agents like in each on premise machine or in each on premise kubernetes cluster the administrator has to install the agents and these agents run in azure arc kubernetes namespace as standard kubernetes deployment and it also helps you to handle the connectivity to azure collect azure arc logs and metrics and watch for configuration request so with azure arc you will get all these benefits from a single pane of glass azure arc enable kubernetes supports industry standard ssl to secure data in transit also data at rest is stored encrypted in your azure cosmos db database to ensure data confidentiality so the the uh, kubernetes cluster which is at your on premise with azure arc enable server it will uh, help you to enable the ssl at rest as well as at transit this is what whatever we have discussed about kubernetes in a diagram so as you can see here customer location that is your on premise location azure arc enable kubernetes agent has been installed and this kubernetes agent has been linked with uh, azure arc enable kubernetes servers and with this you will get all these capabilities like identity arc back policy monitor defender all these native capabilities of azure you will find it with your on premise server this is the power of azure arc now what are azure arc enabled data services azure arc makes it possible to run azure data services on premise at the edge and in public cloud using kubernetes and infrastructure of azure choice so if you have your database which is an on premise that also you can link to azure arc and with this you will enable the on premise databases to be linked with your azure arc and you can monitor it currently the following azure arc enabled data services are available like sql managed instance and postgres sql hyperscale which is in currently preview so if you see in this screen then i have taken the screenshot so with azure arc enabled services Uh, you can see here the virtual machines are cloud linux cloud windows and on premise linux on premise windows these both these machines are in your on premise data center but as you are using azure arc and azure arc has been enabled here so in the azure portal you can see them you can govern them you can manage the capabilities native capabilities of azure same with virtual machines with kubernetes cluster and with database now 
one of the most powerful thing is the governance capabilities as you can see here the compliance and governance capabilities can be monitored for all your infrastructure irrespective whether they are in azure or in on premise or in public cloud other vendors like aws you can manage everything via the simple azure portal that is in the compliance portal you can see whether all your infrastructure are compliance or not so with azure you can achieve that in a single window you can achieve all your infrastructure hybrid infrastructure or multi cloud infrastructure in a single window that is the power of azure i have gathered all this information by following all these links i would highly recommend please go through the document of azure and you will find lot many information about azure by by following the azure documentation if you like this uh, video then then follow to subscribe our channel or like our channel and share with your friends thank you